If DJI and Autel disappear from the US market, what drones are left? In this video, we'll cover the top non-Chinese alternatives for hobbyists, businesses, and public safety teams. Hey everyone, Adam here with UAV Coach, where we've helped over 75,000 drone pilots get certified and build their skills. One of the most common questions we're getting right now from students is, what alternatives are there for DJI drones? Now, before we dive in, a quick note on the ban. Unless DJI passes an upcoming audit, that might not even happen, sales of new DJI and Autel drones in the US could stop in December. The good thing is that if you already own a DJI drone, it's not going to fall out of the sky. The ban will primarily focus on future sales, as well as things like spare parts, accessories, and service plans. That's why one of my biggest tips is to keep up with regular maintenance on the drones you already have. The better you take care of your equipment now, the longer it will last if supply chains tighten. All right, with that context out of the way, let's look at what you should be considering in a DJI alternative and the best non-Chinese options on the market today. When comparing drones, focus on camera quality, so at least a one inch sensor and three axis gimbal is good, flight time around 30 minutes for professional use, range and reliability, six-ish miles, data security, hopefully it's NDAA compliant and has secure data handling, and finally price. Unfortunately, expect to pay more than DJI, especially for enterprise drones. For commercial drones, First, the Skydio X10. It's made in the US, famous for AI-powered obstacle avoidance, and it's great for inspections and public safety. Second is the Anzu Robotics Raptor series, a fairly new US-based company offering DJI-level performance with American-controlled software and servers. Manufactured in Malaysia, these drones provide DJI-quality hardware with US-managed security, making them attractive for agencies needing compliance. However, some critics see Anzu as a rebranded DJI, as it literally looks like the DJI Mavic 3, but in a green color, in question whether it fully escapes the supply chain issues lawmakers are targeting. Third, the Freefly Alta X. It's a heavy lift drone built in the US, can carry cinema cameras, LiDAR, or other payloads. It's ideal for film and mapping professionals. Fourth, the ACSL Soten. It's from Japan, has a modular design with swappable cameras, and is great for inspections and mapping. Fifth is the Parrot Anafi USA. It's rugged, has zoom thermal imaging, and is built for the US Army and other enterprise solutions. For public safety and first responders, the Brink Responder fits the description. It's US made, and its purpose is built for emergencies. It has two-way communication, night ops capability, and secure data handling, perfect for law enforcement and rescue missions. For mapping and surveying, the EBX and Wintra 1 Gen 2 seem like great options. The EBX by Ag Eagle is a fixed wing drone with up to 90 minutes of flight time, and it can map over 1,200 acres in one flight. The Wintra 1 Gen 2 is from Switzerland and is a vertical takeoff and landing fixed wing drone with high precision cameras. It's a great alternative to DJI's Phantom 4 RTK and Matrice for mapping. For industrial inspections, the Elios 3 is a cage protected drone built for confined spaces. It uses LiDAR for 3D mapping in mines tanks, and other hazardous areas. Next, the Valero T5 is a unique tricopter that can attach to walls for non-destructive testing. It's great for industrial inspections like power plants. And finally, consumer options. The sad truth is that if you're just looking for a casual camera drone, most options like Potensic, Hover Air, Ruko and Holy Stone are made in China. The only good possible options would either be the Raptor from Anzu Robotics or the new Skyrover X1, although some think both are tied to DJI in some way. 
But by all means, if you don't care where these drones are from, then go and grab them now while they're still available. We'll put links to all of the ones listed below. Unfortunately, the strongest competition right now for non-Chinese drones is in enterprise and professional markets. Overall, there's no single company that matches DJI's entire lineup, and especially no company that can match them in price, at least as of right now. But with potential bans on the horizon, other companies are stepping up, and we'll likely see even more alternatives emerge in the near future. Let us know in the comments which of these non-Chinese drone alternatives interest you the most, and if you found this video helpful, Make sure to like and subscribe and turn on that notification bell so you don't miss out on any other drone videos. Until next time, blue skies and safe flying.